All right, so today we're going to look at Reftown help. So first thing you'll do is look for reftown.com. And um, yours will, I'm going to log out and forget me. I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. Okay, so you're going to get there and you're going to log in. And then I always choose keep me logged in. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And there's our screen that comes up first. And so what you can click on here and it'll tell you your upcoming matches. You can always look at your past matches by clicking there. The first thing you want to do is come over to here and click on profile. And this is where you'll fix your name. You can fix your address, your phone, your email. Make sure there's a directory photo. Um, some of the schools in the past used RefTown to pay their officials. So if they did, that be down here in the payment options. Um, if that is going to happen again, there'll be an email from John about that. Then you're going to come down here to where you see zones. And you're going to choose the zones that you can work in. Once you've chosen your zone. Then you're going to save your changes there. So once again, I'm going to go up here and go to profile. And then you see the zones that were created there. And then availability, you can click on that and it takes you right there off your profile page. So I can go off my profile page to my availability and click there, or I can come over here to schedules and go down here to availability. So let's talk about what's going on on each of these tabs. So this main one has a contact list, people's email addresses, it has your home button. But to get to this page, remember you have to go over here to profile. Then directories, this is where you can find the directory of all the officials. You can search for officials' names. If you need to email the board, you can click on there and the board email will come up there. Committees, same thing. So then you're going to go to schedules and you're going to go to matches and that's where it's going to show you all of your matches and then you can, it'll have a box on the side where you accept it or decline it. Then here we have meetings and events. So it lists all of the meetings and events that are happening. Um, also tells you how many you were present for. I was present for two, absent for three, but I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, that's where you can look at your absences and your present. So that's under here. And then you can go to availability. So there's two ways to do availability, two types of availability that John needs. So you're going to go to the month, okay? So you can go to August. And so if you know a specific date that you can't work, just a specific date, not every Monday, every Tuesday, but a specific date, you're going to come up here and click Date Specific Availability, and then you're going to find the date, and um, so I'm going to pretend this is one here. So I'm going to click in A and then I'm going to click Y and I'm going to put family. Okay. Then I'm going to go through and see any other dates. And then I'm going to save the changes. If you don't click save changes, then it's not going to save it. So that's for if you know, I'm pretty open, but for sure in August on this date, on the 14th, I'm saying I cannot work on that date. Now you're going to go in and do your day of the week availability. So you're going to go in and say, what can I do on Mondays? So here I'm available Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'm not available on Fridays because my son has football. So um, what I'm going to do to do this is you'll go in here, get rid of this. 
So you'll go in here and you will put the day you can leave work. So I can leave my job at 4 p.m. Now, I may be able to leave a little early. I can go in and change that later on once I find out. But right now, I know for sure that I can leave work on Mondays at 4, Tuesday at 4, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday, I'm just available the whole time. Now, if you look up here, it says availability, availability info on this page applies every week. So once you have done what you're available on Mondays, if you're available Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, etc., once you've done that, you must save changes. And now you see your availability. So then we go over here to pay. And it has something called my invoices. Some people use that to help keep track of their payments. We have a distance chart. It'll actually tell you from your home how far each of these locations are that we um, service. Then you can go to official fees and it'll tell you exactly how much you should make for each of these. Then for email, if you want to send an email or a text, you can email an official from there. And then here is our other section. So we have quite a few things in here. We have this document section so it has like the rules comparison chart, circle of learning, all kinds of different um, things in there that you can click on and have access to. Uh, the Ask the Ref, you'll do off of our website. The, um, the ballots when it's time later on in the season, I think it's about October, to vote for the new board. You'll click here for ballots. And pretty much we don't have anything else. So that's pretty much the basics of Reptown, of Reftown for you to use. So hopefully this video was helpful. And we'll see you on the court.